Last summer, we had an encounter with the Game Master, which forced us to go on the run. This is getting crazy. Luckily, we weren't alone and had some help from our friends. Chess, that you? Can you hear me? What's up, Papa Jake? We decided to go to the middle of a lake and lay low, but we soon found out we weren't alone. Is that who's been chasing us? I don't know, Logan. I don't know. This is the story of our first encounter with the Game Master. <laughs> What's going on guys? All right, listen up. I just turned the camera on. We were just packing up and I think there's another cop at the door. If you guys haven't seen our last video yet, the cops were called to my house and currently they're after us, but we don't know if they're the real police. This just doesn't seem right. Something something seems wrong about all of this, all right? We've done nothing wrong. And I don't know about you guys, but this seems extremely fishy. You've been helping me in the comments and we don't think these are legit officers, but I'm not sure. There's someone at the door. Oh, he's right out there. Oh, oh no. Guys, we we're just getting ready to pack up and leave. We're trying to lay low for a little bit. We're documenting everything though. Everything that we see, everything that we do because we want to tell the story to you guys. We want you guys to know what's happening and we want you guys to be able to help us. I don't think he's leaving. No, 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 he's still there, he's still there. He's talking, he's talking, shh. You can be really quiet. I can't get the camera focused. Sorry guys, this, everything's like a mess right now. All right, I gotta get up to Logan, one second. Logan, there's a cop at the front door. Another one? Yes, another one. I checked out the front door and I got some footage of them, but I noticed something. I didn't see a cop car at all. What kind of cop comes without a cop car? We're gonna lay low for a little bit. Obviously, as you guys know, we're documenting everything, okay? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm freaking out here. Hey, Jake, why don't you check the mess camera? Here, it's part of that. Take a look, he's still outside. What do we do, Logan, what do we do? We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get our stuff and get out. Jake, do you think that's real? I don't know. I don't know if that's a real cop or not, man. We can start piecing this together. Guys, if you see anything in this video that seems suspicious, let us know down below, but I have no idea right now. What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's looking around. This isn't good, Logan, this isn't good. Oh, wait. I think he's leaving. All right, he's leaving, he's leaving. Jake, we can't just run from the police. Do you really think those are real cops, Logan? Because I don't. We haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason for them to be here. He doesn't even have a car. I mean, even people in the comments thought it was suspicious. I don't know if these are real cops or not, and to be quite honest with you, they're not giving any explanation. We're gonna pack up all of our gear and head out of the city to lay low for the next 24 hours. Last, if it's all packed up, we should be good to go. But Jake, I just realized, why do I have to go? Logan, the cops might be after me, but you're part of the team, okay? You're coming along with Papa Jake. If Papa Jake goes down, Logan goes down with them. What? No! Plus, how am I gonna build this raft? What raft? Look at the rafts, all right? We can't, we can't stay at a hotel or something. That leaves a money trail. We don't know who we're dealing with. If they're able to look at security footage, anything like that, we no, no, we need to go basic, okay? All right, I say we build a raft out of cardboard and use it to survive for the next 24 hours and just lay low for the time being until we can figure this all out. All right, you grab anything you need. I'm gonna pack some more essential supplies. On a real note, guys, I can't believe Jake's dragging me into this. What are you doing? I'm bringing my Yeezys. You're bringing your Yeezys? Yeah, look, I gotta look fly. Doesn't matter if we're in the middle of nowhere, still gotta wear my Yeezys. Jake, if we're going into the wilderness, you have to pack light. Yeah, this is light. I'm only bringing four sets of Yeezys. Look, I got more upstairs. <sighs> All right, let's start loading up the car. What are you bringing? Jake, I'm not going with you. Look, I, I need you. It's Papa Jake and Logan. We, we have to solve this together. You really don't think these are real cops, do you? Logan, I know what's asking a lot of you, okay, to come out with me, and yes, for all intents and purposes, they are not after you. You could stay here, but if I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna need you, the viewers, documenting everything. It's the only way we're gonna get through this. Plus, I get lonely at night, you know that. We gotta do this together, man. You in? All right, okay, Jake, I'm in. But you know we also need the viewers in? You're right, guys, we need you as well, all right? We're gonna be documenting everything and uploading it, but we need you guys to spread the word. We need you to like the video, comment below what you think's going on, help us solve this mystery. Because without you guys, there's no way we're gonna get through this. A few moments later. I gotta, gotta go away for a while, okay? So, come back, Pop Jake's gonna come back for you. Pop Jake will be able, will not be left behind. I'm right? gonna miss you. Jake, what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah, Jake, we gotta go. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're ready to go. Let's, uh, let's head out now. All right, guys, we just made it to the lake where we're gonna be building the raft. I actually went ahead and polled you guys on YouTube to figure out what you thought was the best idea, and you guys all voted that we should build a raft and try to swim out into the middle of the lake to lay low. I don't know if you guys can tell exactly on this camera, but the sun is starting to set. We have to get our fort built and get this thing in the water and fast. 
We're gonna use this to float on and then we're gonna build our fort on top of it using cardboard. I've got some MREs as well as some other stuff that we'll need when we're surviving in the lake, but honestly guys, I don't wanna stay out there for too long. We're trying to do everything we can to make them lose our trail. Also guys, Morje Stu called me and he was actually telling me that he's working on trying to solve this entire mystery and that it might go even bigger than just us. This might somehow be linked to Chad Wildclay and his hacker. As of right now, I don't have a lot of information to base it off of, but we're gonna start piecing together the clues. But our first priority is getting this thing built. You got all the gear? Yeah. All right, let's get a base on here. Start getting it going. The sun's going down really fast, man. Let's try not to draw any attention. Keep an eye on the woods. Here it is, she's completely ready and good to go into the water. We've got our entrance here, which we can actually get inside the fort. And we've got windows on all sides so that we can keep a lookout if anyone's coming on a boat or anything like that. One of my biggest priorities though right now is to make sure that we clean up the entire area. I don't wanna leave like tape rolls or anything like this on the ground. Nothing that could attract attention from whoever's chasing us. Anything like that could be a clear sign and help them track us to where we're going. It's ready to go and we are good to get out onto the lake for tonight. Still gonna get our supplies in here and the rest of the gear, but we should be good to go. Uh, Jake, what are you thinking about? Hmm? Well, you look like really serious. What's going on? I'm just thinking, uh, you know, Logan, if we're out in the middle of the lake and we're sitting there, we're quite literally the definition of sitting ducks. You you just thought of that now? I just thought of that now. That's not good. All right, guys, so we got everything ready. It is good to go. The boat is there. Yes, okay, I realize that, like, maybe, perhaps, we are sitting ducks, but you guys told me in a poll that we should be making our boat out in the middle of the lake. There is close to here, well, it, it's a haunted forest. We're not going to talk about that, but there is something that we potentially could use to set up camp in the night if the middle of the lake doesn't work. But, guys, right now, the sun is going down. We need to grab our supplies and we need to get out there fast. We don't know who's chasing us, but whoever they are, they're not gonna find Papa Jake in the middle of the lake unless they come down here and look. All right, let's grab our gear and get in there. So we're inside the fort now. Everything is where it needs to be. We've got all of our supplies in here. We cleaned up our trail, covered our tracks, which means no one should be able to follow us and find us on this lake. Logan's gonna jump in here. We brought some extra supplies and we're gonna paddle out and set up our anchor and this is gonna be where we're gonna be surviving for the next 24 to maybe more hours. The more and more that we're starting to believe that these aren't real cops is kind of making me feel better. I'm starting to feel more confident, to be honest with you. I mean, at least I know Papa Jake can handle this sort of thing. You know, I've, I've done this before and hey, now we're back in the box for it and we're surviving in the middle of the lake for 24 hours. All right, Logan, time to get in and set us a sail. <sighs> you ready to go? Guys, I am starving. We need to get on the lake and then make dinner as soon as possible. We brought some MRE, so that should be good enough for food. But like I said, we gotta keep a low profile, so we can't actually cook anything on an open stove. The sun is setting. We need to get out on the lake. It's time for us to set sail. Oh, guys, Papa Jake, expert captain, setting sail for another time in a ship. Oh. Look, we didn't even name this ship. Oh, guys, we're going. Honestly, this is less of a ship and more of a houseboat. It's uh, It's got all the amenities we need and it's gonna keep us nice and safe. You almost don't think we're getting chased by people. You think we're just out here like cruising around enjoying a vacation. All right guys, heading out. Let's get into the middle of the lake, dude. All right guys, been paddling for a bit. We're almost in the middle. And uh, Papa Jake's just been enjoying the view. I don't really have to do anything, which is nice. See Logan, this is why I wanted you to come. So once we get out to the middle, we're gonna drop our massive anchor, which by the way, I don't think I showed off. Look at how big this thing is, guys. We're gonna drop that in the middle of the lake and then start cooking some dinner. Looks like we're in a good spot now. We're in the middle of the lake. It's a perfect place to set up. Got some prime real estate here. In order to make sure we don't move along with the current and get lost, we've got this massive anchor. So in three, two, one. Ooh. All right, anchor's down. Got it here, got a nice tug on it which means we should be able to secure this down here and we won't be going anywhere. Jake is finally starting up on our dinner. Chef Papa Boyardee over here. And for tonight, Logan, you are getting some crackers. That's right, Papa Jake knows how to bake the best crackers. Super salty. And guys, like you pay millions of dollars for a cottage. This thing costs like 20 bucks and some cardboards. All right, guys, so I have my dinner cooking. Jake is getting his dinner. Jake, what do you have for dinner? Uh, I got my meatballs and marinara sauce, and I've got a cracker with some peanut butter, so not bad. 
But Jake, you're eating your dessert before dinner? Well, my dinner's cooking, so I thought I'd eat my cookie. Chef Papa Jake has dinner all made. Check it out. We got our meatballs here. They are looking delish. No. They are out of a bag, but in desperate times, being chased by an unknown enemy in the middle of a lake, having some more meatballs isn't too bad. All right, guys, well, I have my vegetable lasagna, so let's dig in. There is a lot of bugs. That's probably the only downside to uh, surviving in a box fort overnight is the tons of mosquitoes. We're getting ready for bed now, all cozied up in my sleeping bag. It has been an extremely long day, but Logan, before we go to bed, I was thinking, I did bring something for us. I got a little surprise for us, Logan. Papa Jake always thinks ahead. A walkie-talkie, Logan. I knew those MREs weren't gonna fill us up, which is exactly why we're gonna order pizza to our box for it. Papa Jake, thinking. Breaker, Jake, breaker, this you, is Papa you know Jake you can't order pizza, pizza. One, with a walkie-talkie, and two, Wait, in the middle of a lake. Oh, oh, oh. 279 over, trains up in the shore. Really? Uh, no visual on Papa Jake at the moment. Someone, someone on the shore. No visual on suspects. Someone's traced us here. Logan, someone's traced us here. Guys, someone has traced us here. Okay, all right, all the lights off. All the lights off now. Get all the lights off. I think they followed us here. Logan, how did they find us? Oh. I'm gonna walk down the shore a few times. See if I can find is there anything in walkie talkie? Yeah, I got nothing here. I don't I don't see suspects at all. This is uh, track 27. Radio to Captain Montague that uh, lost, uh, wait, lost wait, 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 suspect. a name. Okay, you, you got that written down? Yeah. We'll go and investigate in the morning. For now, they don't know where we are. Get the windows closed, turn the lights off. We're going to bed, guys. We'll update you in the morning. All right, what's going on, guys? Papa Jake here. We are back. I think it's safe to uh, to open up the windows now. We've been in a box fort surviving on the lake since last night. Last night, some men, or maybe just a man, came to the shore, and they've been following us. For the past few days, we've been thinking they were cops, but now we're more and more certain that they are some sort of organization or, or something we don't know what they are yet but we have to solve this mystery it's morning time and i think we're good but we got to make our next moves Whew. well i can't deny it's beautiful though sleeping in a box for it on a lake hey, logan wake up we're not at home it's morning it's time to smell the birds guys where we left off things are getting they're getting intense last night if you guys saw our last episode we evaded what we believe is no longer the real cops we think that people have been sent out after us after creating this hideout and heading out into the middle of the lake in the middle of nowhere we were tracked down here by a man who we heard on the radio no visual on suspects trace papa jake to the shore I'm gonna walk down the shore a few times see if i can find Is there anything walkie talkie so as you guys can see, someone was literally on the shoreline last night trying to find us. Luckily, we're in here. They couldn't find us. We turned off all of the lights and went to bed. But I just think that means, Logan, we can't stay here, man. It has been an exhausting night. There have been so many bugs. Like, now it's, it's morning. They've kind of all gone. But guys, the bugs were horrible last night. Not to mention the fact that someone is quite literally hunting us down. Jake, our anchor held up. It did, our anchor was pretty good during the night. So guys, I think it's extremely apparent that we cannot stay here, all right? This mystery is getting intense. I mean, we've talked to more Jay Stu, and he's starting to piece together things that, that could explain that the people chasing us are linked to Chad Wildclay's hacker. There is just so much going on right now, and now that we know that it's quite possibly not the real police, I think we need to turn it around. I think Papa Jake needs to go full investigation mode and solve this mystery, because we cannot just stay on the run, Logan. Uh, Jake, I, I just noticed a really big problem. One of our rats is deflated you know what Logan you're right I seemed a little shorter this morning that is equally a reason why we can't stay on here and I found out that you can't order pizza in the middle of the lake that was that was very disappointing I think I know a place where we can hide out Logan I'm talking about the tree house now I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking it is in the haunted forest but we're not too far from it we could get there could we paddle in this thing Honestly, in the state that it's in right now, I don't think we can paddle. I think we're gonna need to go back to land and hike on foot. Plus, we need to get back there anyway to see if we can find any information on this guy. Logan, one thing though before we go, Papa Jake has to go fishing. Jake, you don't even know how to fish. Logan, I know how to fish, and if we only have four MREs left, we don't know how long we're gonna be on the run for. We have to become hunters, Logan. Papa Jake has to become a hunter. Hunting is the last thing you're good at. Logan, I know how to hunt. I once went apple picking with my grandmama. Now help me with this. Jake's on some fishing mission, which, honestly, he's not gonna catch a fish. Logan, I got this, all right? I'm gonna catch the biggest fish. Hashtag Papa Jake's fish. 
Looks like there's a lot of seaweed in there, Jake. All right, guys, you all thought Papa Jake couldn't catch a fish. You thought Papa Jake could not become the hunter. Well, if we're surviving on the land, Papa Jake is going to catch some fish. If you believe me, put a comment down below, but I believe in myself. Now, the key to catching a fish, guys, is to be slow. Guys, we really need to get to shore and get a move on this day. But of course, Jake has to hold us back and go fishing. Logan, I caught a fish. What? I caught one, Logan. I caught a big one. I'm reeling her in now. Oh, here she comes. Oh, we're going to be eating like kings tonight, Logan. We are going to be eating like kings. What? For real? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's a rare form of sea fish you can eat. You know, it's not a fish, but you can still eat this, Logan. People eat this. It's a delicacy. We got we got to get to shore, Jake. All right. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. We need to get to shore. We need to figure out this mystery. We need to get some clues. All right. Ooh, the anchor is really heavy, Jake. Got it. Ooh. All right. All right. Anchor is up. We are good to start paddling the shore. Oh, no. Uh, well, we can just keep paddling. Okay, uh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, okay, those are huge waves. How do we know that guy's still not at the shore? Well, in the radio, we've heard a few important things. First thing that we heard, guys, was he was referring to someone named Captain Monagu. Or Monagu. I couldn't really make it out too well. Other than that, he also referred to himself not as an officer, but as a tracker. I've never heard a police officer refer to themselves as a tracker, which makes us believe even more that he is not a police officer and is hired. Other than that, we did hear him say he's heading back to base, so our hope is that he's not there. But like I said, guys, we need to start our journey towards that treehouse because we are sitting ducks out here. We were able to make it back to the dock. Whew. It has been a while since I've been on land. All right, let's get out of here and start looking around. We started walking through the woods a little bit and are going down the shoreline. We're looking for any clues that we can find as to who was here last night. As you know, we made it to shore. We've been kind of walking along the woods here, trying to see if we can find anything. Logan's been up ahead looking for clues. It actually just started raining. A cloud covering kind of came in. <sighs> Guys, this rain is really starting to pick up and we are getting deep in these woods. Rain's really come down, dude. We gotta start making our way to the abandoned treehouse and fast. Guys, if we don't find anything in the next little bit, I think we're just gonna have to start traveling there. If we get caught in this rain and get soaked, we'll have absolutely no shelter. We gotta make our way to the treehouse so we can set up camp for the night. He followed us to where we came. We built our raft just near here. Maybe he wasn't even on this side of the lake. If he was tracking us, he would have come to where we started. Well, he had to have been here. Logan, I'm new to this, all right? I'm not used to someone, some sort of police officer chasing us down. It could have been anything. Scent, they could have used dogs, it's satellite imaging. I, I don't know what the capabilities of these people are. Jay Stu thinks it's linked to Chad Wild Clay's hacker. I mean, that's... Logan? What? Where's your phone? It's in my pocket. Well, give me your phone right now. This is how they hacked us, Logan. They used our phones. Oh, how could we have been so stupid? Look, this is all your fault. This is why they got here. Jake, they used your phone to trace us. Jake, I didn't even want to be here in the first place. Logan, no phones. I told you that. Wait, what? There. Now we can go to the treehouse. No. Logan, you don't need your phone. Well, where's your phone? Logan, it's right here. Wh why do you get to keep your phone? Because, Logan, you know I like to play Fortnite at night. Plus, I know how to turn on airplane mode. So I'm going to go get my phone. You know what? Fine. Have them have them find us. Maybe it's not even our phones. <sighs> Jake. Wait, Logan, Logan. What? It's like a rain poncho of some sort. You don't think this could have been the guys, do you? Wait, Jake, there's a clock. You think this could have been the guys? I don't know. This looks like a map. I think this might have belonged to who was tracing us. I think they left this here. Jake, what is this? See? Looks like a data card of some sort. Any clues on the timepiece? Jake, this clock says that it's 640. 640? What time is it right now? It's 940. Why would someone have a clock that's three hours behind? Guys, I don't know who this is, but whoever it is, he has a clock that's three hours behind. Look, what time zone is three hours behind us? I don't know, I guess it would be someone on the west coast? But we're not on the west coast, we're on the east coast. All right, we're gonna hold on to this. Let's check this map out. Looks like the rain's picking up. We did get a map here. Let's check this out and see. Looks like it's a simple map of the area. Logan, what are you doing? Well, it's raining. I might as well wear the poncho. Logan, that's evidence. You can't just wear the evidence. We gotta bag that and put it somewhere. All right, you know what? Let's just check the map here. All right, it looks like it's simple. Whoa. Logan, what am I looking at? I don't know, it looks like instructions or something? Locate Papa Jake, capture Papa Jake, lock Papa Jake up. This is a note on the back of the map. What are those codes? Target 279, wait, my name's here, my name's here. Target 279, Papa Jake. Target 243, Chad Wildclay. Target 283, Steven Scherer. Wait, Logan, there are other names on here, other YouTubers, they're targeting. Look, we have to warn these YouTubers what's going on. This is somehow all linked. Wait, Logan, look, there's an attack drone here. Jake, what's this? Bus purchase confirmation? 
four, three, wait, bus purchase. You remember Chad Wildclay's last video, don't you? Yeah, why? Logan, in his last video with his hacker on, on the SD card, there was a picture of a bus. This has a bus confirmation order number. Okay, what do you think that means? I don't know, but it could mean that that bus is linked to whoever wrote these notes. Logan, we need to warn Chad. The rain is picking up. We gotta go somewhere fast. All right, we need to find that treehouse. Let's start moving. And fast. We got quite a hike to go. We're currently making our way towards the abandoned treehouse to set up camp for the night. Jake, I think there's a dock over there. Yeah, it looks like there's a canoe there. We would just paddle over to the haunted forest and go to the abandoned treehouse. I mean, it'll still take hours, but it's better than walking. Jake, it looks like we're going into some kind of swamp. Yeah, this is the shortcut to get through here. Man, you really know you're getting close to the haunted forest when you go through stuff like this. Looks like this bridge is falling apart. This is creepy. Keep an eye out, guys. All right, guys, we're making it closer to the abandoned forest. We try to keep our voice down, though. We don't want to draw any attention to us. As of right now, we still don't know who these people are that are tracing us, but we are getting some more information and clues are coming together. Don't forget, guys, we need your help to solve this mystery. If you see anything suspicious or know anything about the clues we're finding, comment it below. All right, Logan, I think we're in a good spot. Good spot for what? Once we were in a remote enough location, I thought I could turn my phone back on and call Chad. Jake, you're gonna risk turning on your phone to call Chad? Logan, I have to. I mean, yeah, there's a chance they could trace my phone, but so what? By the time they get here, we'll be miles away. Maybe he can get the word out to other YouTubers. And guys, maybe you can get it out as well. Tell anyone on the list that Papa Jake found out they're being targeted. What's this? Guys, it's Papa Jake calling me. He hardly ever calls me. This must be important. Chad? Chad, is that you? Can you hear me? Look, it's Papa Jake. What's up, Papa Jake? I needed to warn you about what's going on. As you can see, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually in a canoe right now. In your last video, I noticed in the drone footage, there was a bus. Oh, wait, yeah, you, you saw the picture of that bus in my last video? Yeah, was, that picture of the bus was on the drone. Wasn't that weird? I think I know what that bus is. It's related to the hacker. On a list of paper, he had your name listed as a target. Not only that, he had a bunch of other YouTubers. Wait, seriously? At the bottom of it, we found a confirmation number for a bus order. I'm actually at a bus right now. So this, you're saying this might be a stolen bus? Chad, I think that bus might be the one that you're about to go into. I needed to call you and warn you. I needed to tell you not to go in there. Wow, I'm really glad you called because I was just about to try to get into this bus. I'm gonna be extra careful now getting in here now that I know this might be affiliated with the hackers. Thanks, Papa Jake. All right, talk to you soon. All right, guys, well, at least Chad knows now. There's still a lot of other YouTubers on the list that we have to warn. And to be honest, I think we're gonna need your help to do it. As of right now though, we gotta keep going, we gotta keep up with our time. It's only midday, but we have a lot of traveling to do, and we need to get to the treehouse before the sun sets, or worse, before it starts raining again. Logan, you see that? Yeah. Up ahead, it looks like it's a sea on the dock. Do you think we could use it? I don't know. Looks like it was just left here. All right, let's get in closer. Dude, if we could get that sea working, this would cut down our travel time by hours. We could be there in like 30 minutes. Oh, this is literally gonna cut down our travel time by so much. All right, let's see if we can get it working. I don't know if it has any gas. Here, grab one. Jake, do you even know how to drive one of these? Logan, Papa Jake knows how to drive everything. Logan, you know what they say. If you can ride a bicycle, you can drive a sea -Doo. Jake, literally no one says that. All right, Logan, come on. We gotta move. We gotta get to the treehouse and fast. And, oh, there we go, it started. Awesome. All right, let's get it off of here, come on. Perfect. All right, looks like we're in business, guys. We got ourselves a sea -Doo. Woo. Finally, no more paddling. All right, now if I know the map correctly, it shouldn't be too far from here. We head down the lake a couple miles and there should be the abandoned forest where the abandoned treehouse is. All right, let's see what this thing can do. You ready, Logan? Let's do this. If I'm correct, the lake should be following along the trail here, which means the haunted forest should be down that way. Yeah, we definitely gotta start heading this way. Honestly, we've been making such good time, guys. We're practically here. Jake, All right, let's, what's that? Wait, what? Who is that? Who is that? I don't know. He's got a mask on. What? No, he's looking at it. He's coming this way. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on? Hold on, Logan. Who is that? What? I don't know who it is. Is that who has been chasing us? I don't know. Shut up! Hold on! Alright, I got an idea, 
We just escaped from a crazy sea dew chase on our way to the haunted forest where there is an abandoned tree house. As of right now, we are being followed by, well, we're not exactly sure. We originally thought they were the cops, but they're definitely not. No, that guy had a black mask on. I don't know if he's from an organization, if he's a hacker, a spy, or, or worse, but guys, right now, we need to lay low and get out of here before they find us. We found some clues that we'll go over in a little bit, but as you can see, the rain's coming down. I am freezing. We need to get to our shelter and set up camp fast. The trail shouldn't be too far in here, so let's start hiking. But Logan, keep an eye out. All right, guys. Logan, let's keep together. Keep an eye out. We don't want to draw too much attention. That was close, guys. I have no idea how they've been tracking us. Jake, maybe it was that phone call you made. You're right, it could have been. But Logan, I had to warn Chad Wildclay. I had to warn all of the YouTubers on that list. It looks like these guys are tracking down YouTubers. For what? I don't know, but... On the list, it has something about locking me up. Come on, it should just be over here. Guys, this has turned into one crazy adventure. We brought barely enough supplies. It's been raining almost every day and we've been surviving out here. Look, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's day two, Jake. All right, look guys, we gotta get to this tree house, start building the shelter and try and get warm. We don't have a lot of supplies, but what we do have should be able to last us a while. We just, we need to lose these guys. You guys have been helping us so much in the comments with what this might be and just spreading the word. Guys, be sure to comment down below what you guys think is going on because this is getting crazy. Logan? Oh, Jake, it's right there. Oh, we found it. We made it. Logan, we, ma we made it. Oh my God. We did it, Logan. We finally did it. All that hiking. Man, high five. We made it to the abandoned tree house, guys. Dude. Dude, it's so big. This, uh... This is gonna be our new home, Logan. This is, this is our base now. This is where we're gonna have to live and lay low. How long do you think it's been here? I don't know. Oh, dude, look, it's a fire pole. Yeah, we can definitely fix this up. We gotta be careful though, guys. This thing's been abandoned and not only could it be breaking, but also we don't know what type of animals could be here. How is it in there? Yeah, we can definitely make it our home. And Logan, we've got a 360 degree view of anyone trying to come up here. Literally, if they come from here, there, we'll be able to see them. All right, we'll definitely need viewing windows to keep an eye out. If these trackers come up here, we'll be ready. And we can throw down the ladder so they can't get up. Jake, maybe if you go back for our supplies, we could build a box for it. You're right, we still have the sea dews. On the sea dews, it's like a 30 minute trip. We'll do it. Logan, this is it. Logan, this is gonna be our new house. Yes, we had an awesome house back at home, but we can make this work. We can live here. I don't know how long we're gonna have to live here and stay low, but we can, do, I mean, we can film over there. We can film over here. This this could be where you edit, Logan. Okay, no, Jake, I am not living here, Jake. Logan, we don't have another choice, okay? Until we figure out this, until we can figure out who these guys are and put a stop to them, we're gonna have to stay here. All right, look, I'm gonna head back on the sea I'm gonna grab all of our supplies. You start cleaning this place out. Then we'll build a box for it in here to secure it down and make it livable for the night. The sun's going down and I don't know if the rain's gonna let up anytime soon. Logan, if I don't make it back, I want you to have my Yeezys. I want you to have my entire Yeezy collection, Logan. Okay, Jake, relax. You're gonna make it back fine. But stay safe, stay low, and don't make a lot of noise. I'll be back with the supplies. All right, I'll just be chilling up here in my awesome tree fort. While Jake's gone, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to dry all my stuff. All right, now that we got the poncho hanging up, should dry pretty fast. So I'm still waiting for Jake, and I realize I have some rope in my pocket. So I thought while I'm waiting for Jake, I'll make a pulley system so we can get our stuff up much easier. Wait, guys, I hear something. Logan. Oh, Jake? Hey, buddy. You're back. I made it back and I got all of our stuff. All right, guys, we are officially ready to start turning this place into a treehouse box for it. We've got all of our gear here, our cardboard, fishing rod in case we want to try and catch some more food. And I think our first objective is to turn this place into a livable hideout. We need to get cardboard down on the floor, seal up the walls, and make sure it's insulated not only from the water, but also in terms of the heat, because it is getting cold out here. We also have some lighting in here and we're low on food, but a little bit of food. Dude, Jake, go around. I made a pulley. You made a what? A pulley system. All right, well, this beats carrying it up a ladder. All right, let's see if this works, guys. Oh, dude, you got it. Already, we're turning this into our home base. Yeah. Good job, dude. All right, I'll get the rest of the supplies and get it up there, and then we can start building this thing. All right, well, let's start getting this thing ready. We are currently up inside the treehouse. Got a nice view outside. Love your pulley system. Definitely gonna have to try out that pole, dude. That is a cool pole. It's actually a great fast escape pole, guys, if we need to get out of here quickly. 
All right, well, let's start building this thing, dude. We are now inside the box fort, inside a tree house. And this place is actually looking pretty sweet as our shelter. Obviously, we're setting up camp here. And like I said, I don't know how long we're going to be here. We can definitely make expansions to this place. But the number one thing we wanted to do right off the bat was make sure we had a place to sleep tonight. So you're probably wondering why are we doing this kind of like a unique concept here? Well, the main reason, in fact, is the bugs. There is no way we are boarding up all of these holes and clearing up all of this. And from our stay in the box fort on the lake, we know the bugs are probably one of our biggest enemies at night, aside from the people chasing us so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make a nice cozy place here that's nice and clean and dry and you know not like moldy wood and then we're gonna cover this with a bug net so we have the entire roof covered but we'll still be able to get up and look out the window so we can see if someone's coming and make sure that we can secure the entire area we also have a bunch of stuff in our survival case here that we're gonna be using to spruce up this place and make it a true home for us so let's get this bug net on and start making this into a home for the night dude check this out it's so cool because you can still see outside and you can actually still look out the window knows but I'm perfectly safe from bugs there's absolutely none in here all right guys so we're currently laying out all our gear and making it super homey for the night and so far it's looking awesome dude this is sweet but I am also starving from that sea dew chase and this hike we got to make dinner soon and guys check it out it is beautiful outside the sun's setting now and it's really nice Anything we need to get done before nightfall, we got to do it now. Logan, come back up, dude. I went ahead and changed this into a luxury hideout. I mean, we are on the run, guys, but it doesn't mean we can't live in a really awesome dude, looking this place. this is looking amazing. Right? It's got all of our amenities in here. I'm going to show that off, guys. But before we do that and before we make dinner, it is starting to get extremely dark. I wanted to head out because one thing that I noticed is we are running out of water and fast. We need to save some of the water for dinner, which is why, Logan, I thought I'd try this little device out. What's that? It's a life straw, dude. This means that it will filtrate water so I can actually drink the lake water. Normally, you cannot drink lake water, but with a life straw, you can. So we're gonna head down there and try it out on the lake. And I thought, Logan, I would get down using our built-in fire pole. Check it out. Uh, all right, well, I'll go down and then you come down behind me. Sure thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going down. All right, well, if we need to get down quickly, we have to test this out and make sure it works. So, oh, here I go. Oh, okay, oh, not too bad. Oh, that's definitely a fast way to get down, a little faster than I hoped for. All right, guys, let's head down to the water and use this life straw, then we can head back for dinner. There's the tree house up there, nice and hidden away. Definitely whoever's chasing us won't be able to find us there. Actually, while I was getting down here, I kind of cut up my hand a little bit. I actually grabbed onto this, which is, uh, well, a very thorny stick of some sort so definitely gonna have to use a first aid kit because when you're surviving in the wilderness even the smallest cuts can turn into something big all right well here's the life straw and here goes nothing all right guys time to drink up some very disgusting lake water and i know what you're thinking you would probably never do this at home i mean you can comment below if you think you would but uh hopefully this little device is gonna save me and make this water super tasty Whew. okay got myself a nice uh refreshing taste of lake water actually cool tastes a little fishy but i'm gonna trust that the life straw worked and i'm okay to drink that so tasted clean and was uh pretty refreshing so let's head back to the base and see how logan's doing jake just got back and he hurt his hand cut it on a bit of a thorn bush there but as i was explaining to everyone you know the smallest cuts when you're surviving in the woods can turn into big things so definitely wanted to make sure i got this thing cleaned up fast while you were gone, I was looking at the map and trying to see if I could find any other clues. Did you find anything? I've still been looking at that password and trying to figure out what that means. One of the things I realized, I think CS and LS stand for Carter Share and Lizzie Share. Wait, you're right. CS, LS, Carter Share, Lizzie Share. I mean, if he's already targeting Steven Share, then that would make sense, but we still don't know who MAR is. Guys, I think we found a key card or something. I'm not really sure what this yeah, is. It looks like it could be used to get into something or maybe some sort of notes. I, I don't really know. Guys, if you have any idea what this could be, let us know down below. If you can analyze it and give us some tips, you guys have already been so huge in helping us figure out this mystery. Uh, this will just be one more step in solving this. We were able to warn Chad Wild Clay about the bus, which is good, but I haven't had much contact with anyone given that we've turned our phones off. I don't know what's going on on their side of the series. Other than that, there is something listed here as an attack drone, but we haven't seen them use anything like that. So far we've had strange people show up at our house. 
someone who was broadcasting on a walkie-talkie signal that we heard traced us to the shoreline and was there trying to find us when we were floating on the lake. And we had that crazy skidoo chase earlier today. And the guy was wearing a mask, which totally contradicts any theory that it's a cop, but then what could it be? A spy? Hacker? And I mean, if he's targeting everyone here, it could be who is in everyone else's videos. I mean, everyone's going around trying to figure out who's chasing them. Chad thinks it's a hacker, others think it's a spy. It could all be related to one centralized organization. One organization trying to take out YouTubers. We need to figure out who they are, and fast. But I think the most important thing right now, Logan, is that Papa Jake eats some food. That's probably number one. So let's uh, let's see what's on the menu for tonight. Look, we got cheese tortellini or chili with beans. Ooh, cheese tortellini. All right, there you go. Inside my MRE, I got a chocolate chip pop tart. Oh, oh dude, yeah. You are lucky, man. Looks like I got my chili and beans over here, Logan. Gonna enjoy this. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. Eating dinner in our box for it. Wait, I got, I got the camera, I got the camera. Guys, I think there's something outside, there's something outside. Shh, hold on, hold on, stay in, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. Hold on, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something outside right now, there's something outside. Something with a light. Hold on, I'm trying to get closer. What is that? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, Logan? Logan, it's a drone, it's a drone. It's a drone outside the window. It's a drone outside the window, get down, get down. Turn off the lights, turn off the lights. It definitely saw us, it definitely saw us. It was a drone, man. It was a drone. Probably part of the trackers. They have sea dudes, they have drones. Did it see us? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. It, it, probably. The whole thing's lit up. It's only a matter of time before they get here. We're sitting ducks in here, Logan. Jake, what is that? It sounds like a siren of some sort. There's a siren going off. There's a siren going off in the woods. A drone has tracked us to our treehouse fort, and currently there's a siren going off. I think there's some sort of masked men coming after us. How did they find us here? Guys, we saw them on the sea dude. These aren't police. I, I, we don't know what they are yet. They could be hackers, they could be spies. Whatever they are, they want us and they want to capture us. I don't know if we can outrun them, Logan. We might just draw attention to ourselves. Jake, what are we gonna do? They're gonna come any second. Hide the files that we have. We've already documented most of them. Get them in here. Logan, we're gonna defend this place. We're gonna stop running. Papa Jake is tired of running. Look, I have night vision hunting cameras with us. If I can set up a perimeter of the four cameras we have, we'll be able to watch every single one from our base. We can push down the ladder and stay up here. If they try and get up here, we fight them and defend our ground. The only problem is it means I'm going out with this. Look, I'm gonna grab one of the radios. You take the other there, and you radio at me when every one of these goes online. Jake, this is crazy. I mean, you can't go out there alone. Logan, it's the only thing. I need you back here watching the monitor, telling me when the cameras go online. Look, others might run from this sort of thing, but Papa Jake is gonna face these guys head on. Keep an eye out on the forest. If you see any lights, warn me. They're getting close. I can feel it. Right. Okay, be safe out there. I got this. Let me grab the rest of these and go out. I'll radio to you if I need any help. Let me know when I get each one of these cameras online. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys, time to get these cameras set up and fast. I don't know where these guys are. Keep an eye on the woods, guys. If you see anything, you need to comment below and let me know. I don't see any right now. Looks like we're okay. All right, let's find a spot for the first camera. Yeah, Logan, over. I'm in the first position. Look, I'm gonna set them up. We got four cameras, not including the one I brought to film myself. I'm gonna start setting them up. You call them out when they're in place. What was that? I thought I heard something. But once I get these cameras set up, I'll feel a lot better. We'll be able to monitor the entire area. All right, Logan, getting in position for the first camera. Getting set up on this tree. This is camera one, and this is exactly what's gonna be seeing. All right, time to set you guys up on the tree here. Logan's setting up camera one now. All right, there we go, set up. Perfect. Okay, Logan, camera one's online. How do you read it? Camera one's online. All right, perfect. Keep a watch on it. I'm gonna head and set up camera two. Okay. Copy that. Let me know if you need any help. Alright guys, looks like camera one is up. Now it's time to move to camera two. I'm gonna set this one up on the west. I gotta keep moving though. So far I'm not seeing anything. Logan, I'm in position to set up the next camera. You see anything on camera one? Still nothing on camera one. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving. I don't like this one bit, man. This is really freaking me out. I don't know how dangerous they are. And they're definitely here. I can feel it. All right, this tree should be good to set up camera two on. Let's get it up in position. All right, there we go. Camera two's online, you see it? Still nothing on camera one. Camera two's looking good though. All right, perfect. I'll start moving on to camera three. Keep it on camera one. Okay. All right guys, moving on to the next camera. 
as of right now, there's absolutely no sign of them. I don't know if they've retreated or maybe are waiting to make a move, but so far we're good. Logan, you seeing absolutely anything on the cameras? Still got no activity on any of the monitors. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything either. Guys, let me know if you see anything in the forest. Here's a good spot for camera three. Let's set this one up. Okay, there we go. Camera three's online. And one more camera and then I'm heading back to base. All right, camera three is looking good. I think I found a spot for camera four. Guys, I really don't want to be out here for much longer. Whether or not these guys are coming, I don't know, but I want to get these cameras up and back to base quickly. I'm my camera four spot. I'm setting it up now and then I'm heading back. All right, camera four is online. We're good to go. Logan, all cameras are online. I'm heading back to base now. Keep an eye out for me on my way back. All right, I'm getting out of here. All right, there we go. Camera four is online. I'm making my way back now. All the cameras are set up and we're good to go. I hear footsteps. There's footsteps, there's footsteps. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, we gotta keep running. Oh, no, I can't see anything, I can't see anything. I hear something in the woods. There's something, there's something. There's someone's following me. Someone's following me. Oh, we gotta keep moving. Oh, I gotta get back to base. Uh, it should be this way. Okay. Wait, wait a second, Jake. Camera three showing a bit of movement. Wait, Jake, there's someone on camera three. There's someone on camera three. You gotta get out of there now. Wait, I hear something. Something's moving, something's moving. Hold on, hold on. There's one right there. There's one right there. Stop. Who are you? What do you want? What do you want? Get back. Wait. I don't know what just happened. He just moved behind the tree. Logan, one was right here. One was right here. He moved away. I'm coming back. Get back to the fort now. Uh, 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 what close. happened? I was extremely close, dude. Logan, he started chasing me, but when I shine my light on him with my flashlight, he, he, he backed away. These guys are extremely creepy. Did he say anything? Logan, they didn't say anything. They're, just, they're moving slowly through the woods. They don't have flashlights. The only thing I know is when I shine my light on him, he didn't like it. He, he moved away. We can use this to our advantage. Check the cameras. Let's see what we're dealing with. Looks like camera one's okay. I'm moving on camera two. Whoever I saw, it doesn't look like they've come back yet. Camera three, nothing. Camera four. When I saw him, he definitely hadn't breached the perimeter yet. I mean, this isn't this isn't right. They wouldn't have retreated like that. Let's see if I can find another flashlight. Maybe we can search for them in the woods. There's gotta be something in here we can use. What? 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 Camera one. Camera one. What's on camera one? What's on camera one? Someone just walked by camera one. What? <sighs> Pass me. Oh, let me see. No, 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 no. Let me see him on there. Have they breached the perimeter? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah. Someone on camera three. There's someone on camera three. What's going on right now? No, 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 no. What is he? Who is he? He's got the camera. He's got the camera. He's got the camera. He just tore the camera down. He just tore the camera down. Camera's offline. Jake, this isn't good. There must be more than one person out there. Logan, we have to get that camera back online. I think I'm gonna go out. What? No, you can't go out, Jake. Logan, if we're gonna defend this perimeter, I need to. If they're scared of light, I'll take this. I'll shine it on them. So you just stay on the radio and let me know where they are. You'll be able to direct me and keep me safe. All right, I've got to get the camera back on if we're going to hold down this fort. I'll be back. Heading back to set camera three. This is getting out of hand. This is, this is too much. I don't know who these guys are or what they want, but we need to get out of here. I don't feel safe. I got to keep moving to set this camera up. I need my radio. I got to talk to Logan. All right, Logan, let me know if you see anything on the cameras. I'm making my way to the camera three spot. I'm going to reset it up and head back. I don't see any of these guys, but we're gonna keep moving. Oh, that was close. All right, I see where the camera three spot is. I'm moving into position. I heard something. Oh, oh, oh no, I gotta get out of here. I think I lost them. I just gotta remember to shine my light on them when I see them. All right, camera three's just up here. Logan, I'm seeing a lot of activity. I'm gonna reattach camera three here and get back online. All right, camera three's back online. I'm getting home and getting home fast. Guys, my flashlight just died. My flashlight just died. I'm running out of light. I need all the light I can to keep these guys at bay. All right, I gotta get back home. Oh no, something's coming. Something's moving, something's moving. I gotta hide, I gotta hide. It's right up there, it's right up there. Okay, I'm absolutely quiet. If it comes, I'll shine my light on it, but maybe it won't see me and just move by. All right, he's just up the hill. Okay, shh, I need to get low. I'm getting out of here. Jake, 
Logan, what's going on? I'm cuter than my bay, Logan. The light really is working. Every time I flash it on, they move back. Okay, that's good. It must be working. I haven't seen any of them on the perimeter. I'm getting extremely freaked out. I don't like this one bit. If you haven't seen anything, though, maybe... Maybe they're retreating. Maybe they've stopped coming towards us. Where's the camera? Check it. Three. Camera four. They're on all the cameras. They're on every single camera. We have to go. We have to go right now. There's too many of them. There's, there's too many of them. Look, we have to get out of here now. There's no way we can take on all four of them. Grab the light. We can use it to keep them at bay. All right, Jake, let's go. All right, come on. Remember, if you see one, shine your light on it. We gotta get out of here. Do you know where we're going? Yeah, it shouldn't be too far to get out of here. Right, just keep moving. Keep pushing forward. Oh, yeah. I gotta stop, on? I gotta take a break. All right, catch your breath for a second. We gotta move though. We can't stay here too long. Logan, come on. We gotta go. Get over here. Right, let's keep moving, come on. Oh, oh, Logan! Oh no. Logan, I think we're surrounded. They're everywhere, they're all around us. Keep your lights on them. What are you doing here? What do you want with Just us? this light. What do you guys want with us? I can't get my light on them at the same time. Jake, you're moving closer. Back off. Logan, what do we do? Wait, the box of lights. The box of lights. You're right. Jake, it's working. It's working. It's working. They're moving back, Logan. They're moving back. Get back. Get out of here. You tripped. I think they're gone. I think we got all of them. Wait. Jake, look. I think he dropped his phone. He must have fallen out of his pocket when he slipped. Let's go back to the treehouse and regroup. Maybe we can figure out what's on this. Figure out who they are. Let's get out of here before they get back. It was way too close, Logan. We had his phone. There could be so much information on this. This could solve all of our answers. The amount of stuff that we can pull off of this, we can find out who they are. Find out who these people are, what they are. Jake, are you able to hack into their phone? The supplies we have here, Logan? We have two batteries and one other iPhone. I have absolutely nothing to hack into this. At home, this could take me maybe 30 minutes. Here, it's impossible. Maybe with this, we might be able to get into it quicker. The only problem is I'm going to need the supplies at home. Logan, I'm saying we get out of here and we head home. We know how to handle these guys now. We know that they can track us anywhere. I think we're safer at home. We can we can fortify our house at home, and more importantly, hack into this abandoned iPhone. We need to solve this mystery, Logan. We need to put an end to this. And the only way to do that is to get home. We leave tonight.